Hey everybody, so I just woke up. It's like, well, almost just woke up. It's like 4 30 in the afternoon. If you give me to call it an afternoon at that point. Anyway, yeah, I just woke up, so I look a bit messy, but I usually do. So I've been on this journey for the past 20 or so days, and it's been a weight loss one. And, uh, I'm starting to see changes in myself, and it's really cool. And, uh, like wearing jeans again. Like, I usually wore shorts because nothing else was even comfortable. I, I don't, I typically like shorts better than pants anyway, but I would wear them. It didn't matter how cold it was. Like, it would be 20 below sometimes, windy, and I would still wear shorts. Like, I wouldn't care. And that was because mainly I'm more comfortable in shorts, but at the end of the day, like, losing weight dropping a few pant sizes and everything actually just opens the world up and it's nice so that's what i've been doing um i don't know what my weight is i don't go on a scale i don't really check that i don't think scales are very great at uh telling you what your weight is and or how much weight you've lost shit like that um because they don't take into account a great many things like uh muscle gain and all that kind of crap but it's been a cool journey not easy by any stretch uh the first few days were the hardest but what i basically have done is i've taken out sugar out of my diet almost entirely now i know this is still some that are gonna, it's gonna get in there um but i don't even eat fruit or drink juice at this point um and it's been over 20 days i want to say it's been about 23 24 days um i've had some fruit i've cheated by having like a banana every now and then I've had six bananas throughout my, throughout starting this, all throughout those 20 something days. On top of that, I also don't eat any bread or pasta, whether it's whole grain or just like straight up white, I don't do it. Um, so literally I only eat meat and vegetables essentially and some dairy, but I've even been cutting out meat and dairy. So, uh, yeah. I don't know what I am anymore, but don't worry. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, listen, you know, you're gonna kill yourself. No, I'm fine. I've done this in the past. And unfortunately I fell off of it like over a year in. Uh, I didn't do it this way. I integrated whole grains back into my diet, but I still cut out sugar. I'm just avoiding it altogether. Um, I do still have coffee with some sugar in it. Now that's not regular sugar. That's like that stevia stuff. So it's not the same. And uh, that's kind of what I do. I just ran out real quick. And now I have to go prepare for my trip to Toronto tomorrow. My flight is at 3 p.m. So I will be arriving at the airport as close to like 11 a.m. as possible. I ain't taking no chances. I ain't taking no chances. I want to know where I'm sitting. And I want to go. And I want to just get in there and go. And, and go to Toronto. And hang out with Matt Santomo for a week. That is going to be so much fun. And you are going to see some shit. Anytime Matt and I get together, especially when there's not some parasitic psycho in his life, we have a lot of fun, and it's great. And all of our fans have a lot of fun, too. Just, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll do a good thing, and it'll be great. All right, well, that's it for today, guys. I'm sorry, you know, it's uh, not really anything too special, but just want to know, let you know what I'm up to and, and let you know that if you're not happy with your body that's completely okay. Don't let anyone tell you that you have to be happy with your body. If you're not happy with it, so be it. Be who you are. Be who you want to be. You know, don't freaking cut your face off and cut someone else's face off and put their face on your face or anything. Don't like envy people, but maybe use them as a motivator for you. Fine. But don't get sucked into being to living in an unhealthy lifestyle that's that's psychologically and physically damaging just because someone on Facebook who doesn't even know you posted like a picture that says accept your body accept your curves and stuff like that there is something to be said for that absolutely sure perfect but if you aren't happy being morbidly obese or whatever then you need to, I believe you need to step up and do something about it just for yourself, not for society. I don't give a crap if you kill yourself because you're fat. I mean, yeah, it's, well, that sucks, but I really don't give a crap. It's not like I'm going to lose sleep over it. Some guy died of a heart attack after being fat. Headlining news. Some guy, another fat person died of a heart attack today. 
And in Wisconsin, a woman died of a stroke. She weighed 680 pounds. I'm not losing sleep over that. So, but you will. If that's you, you will. So do what you got to do for you. And don't listen to anybody else in that regard. Use people as motivators, even if it's that kind of motivation where it's like, I got to look kind of like that. Who cares? You're a human being. That's how we are. I went off into a tangent I probably should have done way earlier in this vlog. Anyway, be who you are, be who you want to be, meet in the middle, have that compromise, and on your road to success, don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Okay? All right. Don't just watch my life. Go live your own. And I will see you next time.